so I experienced this jerk chicken that was served in a pineapple bowl with slaw and rice and it inspired me to do this video trying some jerked ham that's right jerked ham I'm gonna do off seasons version of rum punch and I'm going to do my version of mango slaw enjoy So we're gonna start by prepping the ham. You just place it in a pan and you can do diced onions and celery, peppers, or you can do them in cubes, however you wanna do it. You fill it with half the water, fill the pan half full with water. And um, basically that's it to prep it. Uh, you do put aluminum foil on there, tin it up so it can get air in it. And then you place it in the oven for one and a half hours. This is the prep for the ham. While that's prepping in the oven, we're going to make our slaw, our off-season mango slaw, which is just whatever form of slaw that you choose to purchase. I, you can make it or buy the bagged one. I chose the bagged one. And then you add mango. You can do uh, diced mango or sliced mango however you want to have the mango in then you add in your uh, cilantro and some honey into it and um, I have what's called a table blend that has all different kinds of seasonings in it um, black pepper uh, um, nutmeg cumin all that in it so I just use table blend for mine and then you um, as you see put the orange um, lime juice in it i squoze one and a half limes in it so i use one and a half limes the juice of one and a half limes and i also put salt in it because the table blend does not have sodium in it so you're gonna need to season it with a little salt and that's what i did and do that of course to your taste but there's the salad you refrigerate it until you're ready to serve it so with 40 minutes left to go on the ham, I decided to go ahead and make our off-seasons rum punch. Now, this is a recipe that I came up with, so it may be different than the, it is different than the classic rum punch, but I use apricot nectar, coconut water, and pineapple juice. And I only use a little pineapple juice compared to the nectar and the coconut water. And then I squeeze some lime in it. And again, I use the juice of one whole lemon, I'm um, sorry, one whole lime and a half a lime in, in my juice. And I do this because I don't add my liquor at this point. I just, I'm just making the punch. So this is something you can literally drink. You don't even have to add liquor to it but i put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to serve now with 30 more minutes left on the prep of the ham i decided to go ahead and make my homemade diy jamaican jerk seasoning and it's a lot of different seasonings combined to create the jerk mixed with um what you start with is the brown sugar or what i started with was a brown sugar base. Um, that would be the base of my um, jerk seasoning. And you can look up any recipe that you choose um, to use. I just chose this one because I had all the ingredients on hand and um, I didn't need to go out and buy anything. So you probably have all the ingredients on hand as well to make you a simple Jamaican jerk um, rub. The reason why I'm making two separate uh, containers of the jerk is because one is for the ham. To I'm going to jerk the ham and the other I'm going to jerk a head of cauliflower when I bake it. So that's why I'm doing two separate ones.
and you basically um, stir these and get them all ground up, mashed in good together and cover until you're ready to use it. Once you take your ham out um, after the hour and a half, let it cool with the foil still on it. Let it cool for about 30 minutes and then you'll be ready to um, add your jerk seasoning to it. So to do that, you'll have to um, score it by cutting um, piece, cutting little slices, slits into the ham. And I got a small ham. Sometimes if you're feeding more than two or three people, you can do a larger ham. But it's just the two of us here, so we don't need a large, large ham. But if you're doing a bigger ham just make more jerk to go on it because you want your jerk seasoning to go all over your ham. You don't want it to just be on the top. You're going to cover the sides and the um, front and the top, all, all of your ham, you're going to cover it. And if your, your ham has a bone, you're going to put the jerk seasoning all on the, the bone as well. So just rub it in there good and um, Make sure it gets in the crevices of those slits that you just cut inside of your inside of the top of your ham. Just make sure you get the jerk seasoning all over your ham. And at this point, you're going to prepare it to um, be wrapped in plastic wrap. So you're going to take the ham out and wrap it up in plastic wrap. Leave your onions and your celery and your water in the pan. It'll be fine. We're going to use that later. But for now, you wrap your ham up in the plastic wrap and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator where you can leave it for an hour up to 24 hours because the goal is to get the jerk seasoning to marinate into the ham. So that's basically what you're doing. Man, if you could just smell the island in the air, it's taking me back to my trip in the Caribbean. Woo, smells so good. Anywho, after that, you're gonna take the um, ham out of the refrigerator and put it, unwrap it, put it back in the pan. Um, now it's time to bake it another hour, a full hour. And then um, you're going to prepare, while that's doing that for an hour, you're gonna prepare the glaze that's gonna go on top. And by doing that, you're gonna use some mar marmalade, the juice of one orange, and a shot of gold rum. Make sure you mix it up pretty good and use all the juice from your orange. It smells so good. And then you just sit it aside until the ham is ready. Next, this is my favorite part, using my dry ice. So for my cocktail, my off-season rum punch, I'm going to use dry ice as my cooler. And so time I pour in the gold rum, because you know um, rum punch have both gold and white rum in it. So time you pour that in, of course the dry ice starts um, smoking and I love that. And then you pour the punch about half full of the glass. You don't want to pour it all the way to the top because it'll start bubbling over. The best part is you don't have to stir it. You don't have to shake it. It's the, the, the dry ice is doing everything for you. It's keeping it cool. It's mixing it in for, with, for you so you don't have to stir it. I'm, I'm just putting those um, mangoes in here, but I'm not stirring it for it to mix because the dry ice is basically doing it for you and nothing is mixing nothing is spilling over it's just the the look of of the smoke in this and it's so wonderful you guys it's so wonderful be sure don't touch dry ice with your bare hands use tongues or gloves or something 
with the dry ice and when you put it in your drink you can use a straw to drink your drink so it's time to baste the ham and we're going to take our marmalade and just kind of rub it all in over the ham over the tops and sides and butt of the ham make sure it gets all in there and depending on how much marmalade is and how big your ham is you're going to cook your ham uh, another 40 minutes and you're going to baste it every 10 minutes of those last 40 minutes now i'm going to show you how i serve my rum punch i use a real pineapple and if you have a core it's best to use a pineapple core but i didn't so i just scored the pineapple and forked it out forked out the meat and created my two cups before I show you what I put in there, I'm going to finish up our side dish. Um, you know, we have the slaw for this, but this is the Jamaican jerk rubbed cauliflower. And you're using olive oil. That's olive oil. I'm pouring over that cauliflower. And then I'm taking the other jerk season that I made and you just rubbing it in real generously in the cauliflower. Before you put your rub on, if you prefer to salt, sprinkle some salt over your cauliflower, you can. Because um, the rub season is not that salty. But if you prefer to put some salt on your cauliflower, do it before you put your rub on. And I always wash my cauliflower first, so be sure to do that. But there it is. It's ready to go inside the oven. For on, on, on about 425 for about 20 minutes um, your fork will tell you when it's tender enough there's the finished ham coming out the cauliflower went in and here's our finished table the ham the slaw the cauliflower and there are those drinks with the dry ice mixed in them don't it take you to the Caribbean It is husband approved. So just to recap, we got our jerk ham. My inspiration came from my jerk chicken I had the other day. My mango slaw and my jerk cauliflower. I hope you guys are able to enjoy your Caribbean day anytime you please. And until next time, thanks for watching Off Season.